Hi guys. So today I wanted to show you how to replace or install a new M.2 SSD on your Lenovo LOQ 15 IRX 10 or any of the newer, you know, Lenovo models. Might as well count for the Legion. Um, so let's get started. First off, of course, what you're going to need to do is uh, have a USB uh, ready with a bootable version of Windows on it. Doesn't matter if it's Windows 10 or 11. It's also handy to, of course, um, also have a different USB with all the drivers on it so you don't have to, you know, download everything. Unless, you know, uh, Windows typically sometimes also downloads the drivers for you. But, you know, better safe than sorry. Always download your drivers after installing a clean uh, Windows on either PC or laptop, it doesn't matter. And of course, you're gonna need your uh, replacement or your second uh, drive. I picked the Lexar NM790 um, NVMe, two terabytes, more than enough storage. So let's get started. First thing you wanna do is um, start your laptop and after pressing the button, keep spamming the F2 button. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to put it in service mode, which basically disables the battery up until you reconnect the charger. So, press the power button, keep spamming F2. There you go. You're gonna get into the BIOS. And what you wanna do is head over to more settings. Click on power management. And right here you have your disable built-in battery option. You wanna turn this on. Uh, what it does is basically what it says, it's gonna disable your battery um, for, you know, for service. Um, and when you plug it back in, power it on, the battery's gonna activate itself again. It's gonna work again. So, if you wanna turn that on, you're gonna head over right here. Enter, click on yes. And just like that, your battery, uh, or I mean, your laptop is gonna turn off and the battery is gonna be in service mode. All right, so, um, Let's grab a rag or something to put the laptop on and uh, we're gonna start servicing it and replacing the SDD, SSD, I mean. Alrighty, so of course to start off, you're gonna want to have some kind of screwdriver because these are tiny Phillips head screws, um, but it's gonna be doable. And also, especially for newer laptops, I recommend getting like a prying tool that's made out of plastic or like a guitar pick or anything that you can use to pry um, the cover off. Otherwise you're gonna damage your plastic. It's not gonna look good. And uh, you know, it's kind of gonna be a waste, especially in my case, it's a brand new laptop. It just came in um, and I don't have to install Windows on it anyways. So make sure to have something to pry the components open. So, you're going to want to remove all these individual screws right here and there. I reckon these four are going to be long and these um, six are going to be short. That was the case of my old computer or laptop, I mean. But it could be that um, these are the short ones and the rest are the long ones. So, grab your screwdriver and undo all the little screws. So, um, after taking all the screws out, um, you're gonna pry open the plastic. Do not force it. Um, I personally just used a guitar pick. It's plastic or, you know, make sure it's plastic, but make sure it's also hard enough to actually pry it up. Um, you can start from the front and then work your way around. Um, you don't have to do the back. I mean, you could. But um, once you've done that, you can lift the cover off. 
So, after we've taken the cover off, here's the exposed motherboard with the battery, uh, my main storage right now, and a Bluetooth card probably, and of course, you're all, uh, you know, the whole motherboard under here are your um, RAM sticks. So, uh, let me actually flip this around and then we're going to continue. So, um, my laptop has two M.2 slots actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my primary slot to install my new M.2 and use my secondary to install my primary. Um, don't worry if your primary one is this short. Um, there's always a little standoff um, that, um, you know, aligns with the M.2 if you put it in. Most of the time your M.2 will also come with its own screw. We don't need that since um, mine actually has one right here. And you can also use the one that's already installed right here. So what you want to do is you want to grab a screwdriver and unscrew the little Phillips head. So after that's been done, do not panic. Um, it's normal for the M.2 to, to, you know, jump up. Um, that's how it's designed. So you're going to take your old one out, put it to the side, grab your new one, and put it in at an angle. Make sure that the um, notch is aligned with the notch on the connector right here. So slot it in, just like that. And then what you want to do is you want to grab your screw. It's a little screw that has uh, some space in between um, with a block under it. What you want to do is actually um, slot it in between there. And then um, secure it with your screwdriver. So put it down and uh you know screw it in i'm gonna do that and then i'll be right back uh all right sorry for the little bit of confusion you are gonna want to use um the screw that came with your m.2 uh, so for me it's this little one because this one also acts as a little standoff because if your um drive is a longer than that it actually falls in perfectly flat and this one is a little bit lower so you're gonna want to use the screw that came with your m.2 so just like that my m.2 is installed do not worry about the sticker that's on it most of the time um, it's a sticker that actually also functions as a uh, cooling pad um, I'm gonna see if I can sneak under it. Um, anyways, it also functions as a cooling pad uh, across the whole M.2. I've also installed the original one right here with the standoff that already came with the laptop. Um, also, do not over tighten it. Just make sure it's snug and that, you know, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, Soon enough, I'm also going to be doing a video on how to uh, add new RAM sticks or replace your RAM sticks. So anyways, what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to put the cover back on and uh, we're going to finish this thing. So I've put my cover back on. Make sure all the clips are clicked in and there's no movement. Then you can put your screws back in. And now I'm going to show you guys what to do after you have um, added or replaced your M.2. So the process is really simple. Um, just plug in your power adapter. There you go. Open up your uh, laptop. And then press the power button. But before we do that, I am going to insert my boot stick. Uh, 
and just turn it on wait a couple seconds for it to boot and there you go and there you go you're gonna start loading and it's gonna throw you right into the Windows setup and to show you guys that this worked um, let me just uh, finish my little things here and uh, uh, continue through the setup and then I'm going to show you guys how to uh, format and uh, add a partition of the drive to uh, set up your windows on. Also as a quick tip if you're uh, installing a brand new version of windows or if your laptop does not have any I recommend you plug in uh, a wired win a wired mouse because uh, without the drivers your mouse pad is not going to work. So just plug in either a wired or you know a mouse with a dongle in so you can uh, continue through the setup. So once you've reached this screen you're gonna uh, click on custom and right here you're gonna see you have drive 0 and drive 1. So drive 0, drive zero is the one that I just installed on the main slot and drive 1 is the uh, one that came with the laptop originally. Um, so normally these are formatted out of the um, out of the factory um, but before you want to use them you're going to want to create a new partition on the drive so click on new and usually it's just going to um, put in the space of the whole drive in megabytes click on apply and click on ok and just like that you have made uh, your primary drive with two other partitions and also with this one I'm gonna create a new partition click OK and OK there you go so then you want to select your um, primary drive drive 0 partition 3 next and it's gonna start installing your windows for you um, if you're using CD, it's going to take longer, and if you're using USB 2 or, you know, an older stick, it's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, but I'm using my USB-C uh, SanDisk. It's probably going to be super quick. So, um, you know, after all this is done, you're going to have your install of Windows on your laptop or PC. So, um... Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and patience. Uh, I hope everything has been explained uh, clearly, and um, I hope to see uh, you know to see you guys in the next one, uh, where I'm gonna be swapping out the RAM sticks on this exact laptop. Um, since right now it's got 16 gigs, I'm gonna upgrade to 32. It's gonna be a little bit better, you know. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching, drop a like, comment if you have any questions, I'll be there to answer them as much as I can, and uh, I'll see you guys later, have a good day, and good luck.